Let's see, we'll check it out for me. What's, what's the mood in the locker room like right now? Uh, <clears throat> it's frustrated. You know, we're frustrated. Obviously, this is not how we wanted things to go. Um, you know, we just got to figure out how to get some wins. I know you guys aren't going to throw anybody under the bus, but it, how demoralizing is it to have the offense go out five straight drives, go three and out from the second quarter to early fourth quarter, uh, especially when you guys are already trailing significantly in the time of possession gap? Uh, we wasn't really focused on that. We was focused on uh, defense going out and making sure we were doing our job. And so we wasn't really paying attention um, to what the offense was doing. Whenever we were out there, uh, we tried to put our best foot forward. What did you see from the guys to I mean, um, you know, you see how we just battled um, all the way down to the wire. I mean, there's a lot of moments in this game where we could have gave up and we kept kept fighting and we came up, uh, you know, we came close, but came up short. So uh, I'm confident everybody's going to keep keep uh, battling. Final margins, I mean, they don't always add up 17 points. You do there, big 10 in Arizona. But because you guys are in it towards the, the end, pretty much, does that contribute to the not giving up part? Um, I mean, obviously we're playing to win, so it's not really we're not just playing uh, just to be out there or just to uh, you know do whatever. We're trying to win the games and, and we're coming up short, so we just got to keep figuring out how to uh, how to win the games. We're just talking to Jordan about the screens. It seems like that's something he's getting better at. How have you seen him improve? What, what he's recognizing? Yeah, like I said, a lot of times he's um, he's the guy that's over there um, on the screen. So I definitely feel like he's um, you know did a good job. I feel like for the most part we did better in recognizing the screens. We had some good tackles um, on the screens. There was one that that got away from us. So we just got to keep working. You got a, a fingertip on Jamal's interception. Is that right? Uh, yeah. Could you take us through that play? Um, I think they did like a play action, and then I saw um, the tight end 82 running up the sideline, and I saw his eyes getting open, so I turned my head around, and I tried to tip the ball, and I tipped it, and then I don't know what happened after that. I just saw Jamal got it. What's been the effect, Bobby, of being on the field so long with the defense week in, week out? Do you feel anything from that? I mean, I do a good job of taking care of my body, so, um, you know, so, uh, you know, every game I prepare for however many plays that we got to be out there. But, uh, you know, it's, it's definitely something that, you know, you can't keep doing. You can't keep having the defense stay on the field that long. So uh, we got to find a way to uh, get the ball in our hands, create some turnovers, uh, do whatever we can to help the offense out. Do you feel you and Wilson, the captains, need to guard against guys checking out because of the calendar and the record? Or do you not sense that's going to be a challenge for you? I don't sense it's going to be a challenge. I think it's more so just uh, making sure we keep guys focused. And, um, you know, it's, it's, been a, it's been a hard season for sure. And so we just got to, you know, keep pushing and try to get some more wins before the season ends. What's left to play for in your mind right now? Uh, everything. We got like six games left. There's a lot that can happen in six games. And so I'm a positive person. And, you know, I'm not thinking about what the season end looks like because I'm always present in the moment. Anything else? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.